and good beautiful morning guys how are you doing today hopefully you're fresh and well and beautiful one another fine and fantastic day again today welcome to thailand welcome to Koh Hai on thailand it's early morning it's about 9 a.m it's already about 30 degrees today it is gorgeously warm and hot and humid and mine and holly's mission is to walk to paradise beach which by the name of it you can probably guess that it's a pretty damn beautiful looking beach called paradise beach okay but to get there is about a hour ish walk and i thought i would show you this as well whilst we're uh, whilst we're here this is our hotel the cliff resort hotel on Koh Hai. there's no actual roads here there's no like motorbikes or cars or anything on this whole island and normally you can walk the beach but on high tide the um the beach is non-existent so the boats just pull straight up to basically the hotel uh on high tide you can't walk the beach and the only and way we timed it wrong so we're leaving at high tide which means we have to walk route. this trail all the way to uh paradise beach and i do find it quite amusing that this is like the main trail the main walk the main road to get to like the next resorts or the next restaurants and stuff it just makes you feel like you're really in the heart of the island so we got a little bit lost but we stumbled across a sign paradise beach is that a way this way Let's carry on mooching, so i reckon holly. we have to go this way nothing like a good bit of early morning jungle <laughs> trekking holly I'm regretting wearing flip-flops. I was going to say, you're not wearing the right footwear, really. <laughs> the sign pointed this way, and it's called Paradise Beach, so I think you've got to go through the thick of the uh, jungle. I'm going to just say, there's probably a boat that would have taken us there. How are you doing, Holly? Um, yeah, so far, so good. Good job there's a rope. Good job there's a rope, and good job you got the right footwear on, no, eh? No, right? <laughs> oh, dear. We've got an issue. My flip flop broken. The flip flops are broken. Do you want to switch shoes? I'll try going barefoot. <laughs> We're nearly there, Holly. We better be. We're not. We're nowhere near. God, so many mosquitoes. Do you just want to borrow, just use my shoes? I'll try going barefoot. Are you sure? Okay. We've switched shoes. I'm now going to have to walk barefoot. Because Holly really didn't want to walk barefoot. Walk <laughs> She's got those bad boys on. <laughs> and this isn't the easiest path to walk barefoot. It's kind of sharp with these stones. Another lizard. Ooh. After that mammoth walk, we have now just arrived at Paradise Beach. So five years ago, we actually came to Koh Hai and we found the most amazing beach. So we thought this time we would come back to Koh Hai to visit the same beach. And being called Paradise Beach, we thought this was the beach. This one, right here. But it turns out now we're here that it's not actually the beach we visited. Although it's still a pretty nice beach. Anyway, Holly. Yeah? Snackers. Snackers. <laughs> Now apparently if we keep walking down this path here we come across a viewpoint but whilst walking down it I've just seen this incredible tree literally eating up this huge huge rock here and I think Holly I should climb it and you get a nice Instagram image. Please don't hurt your feet. There we go. My feet are going to be as tough as leather <laughs> by the end of this trip. <laughs> well, our walk now has taken us to another beach, a secluded beach, with absolutely nobody on it. And I thought we made it to the viewpoint. We're not even there yet. <laughs> this is a good enough viewpoint, right? <laughs> Do you not want to carry on walking up okay. to this viewpoint? That could be hours. I tell you what. It doesn't even give her distance. Do you want to wait here? My own. Yeah, I mean, nice. Oh, here in this place. It's a nice view. <laughs> Look at the pineapples growing on the tree. Holly, you can have a little snack here with the pineapple and I'll go up the viewpoint. Okay, this is kind of sad, but I felt like I should probably put it in the video. This is the kind of areas which no one probably talks about, especially in like travel videos, travel vlogs. It's always trying to make the place look as good 
and as nice as possible. And I've literally just walked over this little hill here, Holly's the other side, and I found another beach. But this is, this shows that there is a major, major issue with rubbish, trash, plastic, and everything. This is kind of, this is not nice to see. I mean, look at this beach here. Absolutely covered in plastic, in bottles, in rubbish. Look at the state of it. This is honestly horrible to see. I mean, clearly this isn't the viewpoint what we were after. This is kind of like on the way. Oh, this is so horrible to see. And if you don't think we've got a major problem with plastic polluting the oceans and stuff, you are very wrong and you're very blind because when you come to these types of places, you can actually see how it affects nature. I mean, look at this, just polystyrene blocks, which has obviously come in some packaging and stuff. Just, ah, oh, it's so sad to see. Anyway, back to where we were. I assume <laughs> the viewpoint is up this really, really steep hill. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> oh, this sun is absolutely beaming down on me right now. It is so hot. Okay, I assume, I assume I'm at the viewpoint right now. I mean, it's not a bad view. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a really, really nice viewpoint, but I don't think it was worth the 35, 45 minute hike to see these rocks in the ocean. I mean, the color looks amazing. Beautiful, beautiful bit of uh, ocean, but that's it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now back to try finding Holly because I left her on that beach right down below. Ooh, and this is where it gets really, really steep again. Oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa. Luckily, they supply a rope which you can virtually uh, abseil, abseil down. It's kind of hard doing it one-handed, I'm not going to lie. Oh, oh gosh. So I think we need to give James a little bit of a round of applause. Why? Because oh, I yeah. have footwear. James magically fixed the flip-flop. Don't call with, me Ray Mears for nothing. With, I don't even Shall know what it, you used. Let's have a look at the, the fix. You want me to take it off? Look at that. A bit of twine. Wow, this is, this is um. I th don't know. This is like a root off of a tree <laughs> and some twigs. Stops your flip-flop falling through, Holly. So, so the test is a... About a 10 mile <laughs> hike back through the jungle. Um. <laughs> Holly, there's some cows. Where should we go? Don't mind the cows, Holly. Don't mind the cows, James. They're pretty cute there. Look at the little babies. <laughs> hey, baby. Okay, so the jungle trek has now begun. Holly? Let's not stop. This okay. flip flop might not hold forever. <laughs> One thing which is so awesome when you're walking through these jungle type areas is the noises you hear. I have no idea if it's going to be picking up on this microphone or not. But some of the noises are so loud. I don't know if it's like birds and crickets and all types of like insects and animals and stuff. It honestly makes you feel like you are in the middle of nowhere. Okay, this bit here, Holly, yeah. is where you have to be very, very careful <laughs> with your shoe because okay. I can't guarantee that it will survive this so hill. Work now, James. Test of your engineering skills. <laughs> what uh, an adventure. Today. What an adventure. So now we've actually just walked back to the beach we're actually currently staying on and we've realized that this is actually the beach we visited five years ago. We looked at an old picture and we basically recognized that the rocks you can see behind are actually the rocks we actually took a picture of. But the reason why we didn't actually recognize it is because there's been so much development on this beach since we were last here. There's so many more like hotels and complexes and stuff, which is obviously good to see because there's development, but also it's kind of sad to see because last time we were here, there was nothing on it at all. Flip 
cyclops are still going. I can't believe that I fixed them and they actually survived like that whole walk back. So to celebrate, we're having a beer. Holly, cheers, cheers. girl. <laughs> we're uh, watching the sunset, having wow. a little meal on the beach. <laughs> the sunset at the other side. We're pretending. We're pretending we're watching the sunset because sun rises. We're really watching side. the dogs. 